Hey everybody, it's definitely been a while since I have done a part system video. Matter of fact, I think it's probably the first time I'm doing a part system video at the new place. Here we have a compact laptop and an HP desktop to look at. These are from the grid store, the formerly known as Google Computer Works. Here's the laptop. I have tested it and it does in fact work. $14.99. Um, currently has a Simpron 2.3 gig. I think it's a um, V140 and 2 gigs of RAM in it. One thing that kind of struck me as odd is there's no battery in it. <laughs> they, they took the battery out. Um, not the grid store, but they said that the supplier actually took the battery out. There were several laptops there that had the batteries missing, which, you know, for a... <laughs> A person who extracts 18650s from otherwise dead laptop batteries, um, I am deeply saddened by that. Oh, well, maybe not too much, because I have, already have a crap ton of these things <laughs> laying around. Oh, those back there are the ones that are getting recycled. But yeah, I've got plenty of 18650s, but still though, it'd be nice to have the, um, battery. So I'm going to grab a charger to run this thing with, and see what we get from it. So the um, the laptop I'm planning on doing an upgrade to it's going to be refurbished and resold. Big tangled mess of wires here on this AC adapter. Gee Louise. Fine. Need enough cord to reach the plug and reach the um, laptop. It's on the other side. All right, let's start this thing up. Slide this out of the way. Grab a seat. All right, start this thing up. Got a bunch of girly stickers that need to be peeled off. Um, it's kind of obvious it's, it's kind of obvious a female on this. At least I would think. It is a Rosario CQ56. <laughs> Boot device not found. Okay, let's go to um F10 is set up now that I remember. Let's look at the bias. This is your basic inside bias that you kind of want to find on laptops. It is keeping track of date and time as it looks to be. AMD V140 processor, which is a variant of Simprom based on. Um, Socket S1 currently has two gigs of RAM in it. DDR3, I got some extra DDR3 I can slap in it. Tells you it came with Windows 7 initially. Has a diagnostic log, but not too much to see there. This is under security, diagnostics, system configuration, enable virtualization. Fan always on, of course, yeah, we want that to be on. Move some air. And your boot options, not really too much to see there. And this will be getting Windows 10. Yeah, that's that's the buyer, so there's not really much to it there. Um, And of course, with no battery, you lose power as soon as you unplug the adapter. One thing I'm curious to see is I'm hoping that we are not missing a um, hard drive cage. I 
I gotta make sure I'm in the habit of bringing tools with me to this place because they do let they do in fact allow you to bring tools. Let's see if they bothered to put the hard drive cage in or not. Yep, they left it. That was very nice of them. So we do have the hard drive cage and the needed SATA cable, which I do have extra. I have several extra of those from previous part systems. But uh, what's interesting here is, let's see, I'll just let you have a look here. And of course, there's no hard drive in this. I had to give him a big head, you know, big thanks for actually leaving, actually leaving the um, uh, hard drive cage in there. So I've got a specific customer that this will be going to. It says he'll do some video editing and such. So you know, of course, with this with a crappy Simpron CPU, you're not going to be doing too well with that. So I have a solution to that problem. Out of the previous part system pool I have an AMD Phenom 2 dual core that was pulled a while back um, based on socket S1 and it's funny AMD continued the use of socket S1 for several years um, and of course there are many older laptops that used the Turion CPU that were based on socket S1 and had DDR2 memory. And then you had the newer setups, you know, with Phenom 2, Athlon 2, and Turion 2 um, that used <clears throat> the um, socket S1 in, in addition to the um, Simpron that were based on DDR3. And those, so even though, you, so this for example here, if you get a newer laptop that you part out, that you take the CPU out and you plan to upgrade your old HP DV6000 or whatnot with a new Phenom 2, it's not going to happen. Although the socket is the same, there are two different platforms. Which, you know, it brings me, it was, was kind of odd to me why they continued use of S1. It doesn't make that much sense to me. But it is what it is. And let's see. Get this door off here. We'll see how the RAM. How we're, how we're looking for RAM. Of course, we have two gigs in here. Interesting. They have two one gigabyte six. So apparently, this may have came factory with just two gigs of RAM. It is DDR3. I'll definitely be swapping out for more RAM. Um, yeah, most definitely. Perhaps maybe four or six gigs of RAM, something like that, not sure. <clears throat> well, unless you're running 14 billion things at the same time, four gigs of RAM should be okay. I mean, that's what the Instrum 1525 I have has in it. But with DDR3 prices not being too expensive, I mean you can you can get plenty of RAM for not too awful much. I'm gonna put this other door on. I might actually do a separate video on upgrading the processor in this for those who might be interested. This is one of those laptops where you have to do a full teardown just to change out a freaking CPU. Yep, this is one of them. Why can't they be like some of the newer, um, newer like ultra books and things, or like my Instrum 1525, where you just take either you take the whole bottom off the laptop, or you take a door off and you have access to your CPU. Okay, it's time to move on to the next one. I have not been able to test this one. It's going to need some RAM. It had no RAM in it, so we we'll have to install some RAM in it. I'll pull the side panel off first and let you get a look inside. And yeah, that sucker is on there. Let me go get a screwdriver. Oh, good. 
good gosh. Yeah, that's right. That's right. This is a um, an HP business class machine. It either has your flathead or your secure uh, your um <laughs> your um Torx bits. No, they couldn't keep things simple with this. They had the they couldn't keep the old simple Phillips head and um their de their business class machines, could they? I know, of course not. Yeah, that would be mighty too simple, wouldn't it? Okay. Here's inside of this one. This is actually a business class machine. And here is a look at the um, sticker. Another $15 machine. So, even if the motherboard is bad, <laughs> you know, it's just still worth $15. I mean, the, the case alone with the power supply is definitely worth that. Um, so we have, not sure what platform this is just yet, huh, we have a, um, standoff there for, um, for a, for a Wi-Fi card. It's definitely newer, a newer Intel. This is probably, probably Sandy Bridge, I guess. I'm not sure exactly what the age of this is. Not sure how new it is. That's the only way to find out is set some RAM in there and see if it works. Okay, I just installed a stick of DDR3 in there. Motherboard gives you two slots, which is I think plenty. Um, all right, let's go ahead and start this thing up. See if it works. Definitely not a happy camper. As I figured it was a memory error. Um, machine seems to be picky about where, where, you, where you stick your RAM. I, I installed the RAM in the second slot and it posted just fine. Um, <laughs> I'll tell you what's funny is um, I think the Google Grid Store was about to refurbish this to be a resale machine because I noticed there was a disc in the drive. Yeah, there was a disc in the drive. Wonder what it was. Yeah, huh, Windows 10, huh? Looks like it's been used quite a bit. I bet you that was one of their um, Windows 10 installer DVDs they were probably using. And they forgot to take it out of the drive, so. Uh. <laughs> well, thank you. But, um, yeah, it's not like Windows 10 is hard to get these days. Um,. It's so funny, just, just 10 years ago, you just mentioned download Windows on a forum site, they would threaten to ban you for for uh, supporting piracy or whatever. And nowadays, you can just go online and download Windows 10 like nothing to it. Um, <laughs> um, but yeah, let's go ahead and start this up and let's see what we have here. Apparently, the technician couldn't figure out what was wrong with it, so he just slapped a... Um, a fifteen dollar sticker on it, and and yeah, and that's how you get your good deals from that place. Okay, I did not have to reset the CMOS or anything, so it's um it's keeping time just fine. And this tripod I'm using here is just like many of these crappy tabletop tripods; they just wear out. The um the locking mechanism just wears out on on them. <clears throat> okay. So we have a working machine here. It sees a hat. It, it, it sees our um, our gig of RAM. And at least this machine has something better than the the crappy Hewlett Packard setup utility that you find on business machines a lot of times. It's a Pentium dual core CPU, E5700, three gigahertz. Okay, just look this up, and it's based on the older architecture, or core architecture, so it's definitely not Sandy Bridge or anything like that. But still, though, it's, just, it's not a bad little platform, especially when considering you pay $14.99 for the machine. <laughs> um, so, yeah, let's see here. It's based on the um, Wolf, it's, uh, Wolfdale core, what this is. Um, but this is a pretty nice motherboard, I do think. Um, for it is 
I think it has gigabit LAN, not exactly sure. As a um, as these particular machines came with several different several different kinds of configurations, several different kinds of options. Set that to enabled. Here's your big device priority. Nothing too special here. There's like nothing installed. Yeah, not too much to see with this BIOS, but. I'm going to start right back up here in a sec. Yeah, definitely not bad for, um, yeah, for $15, I'd say. <laughs> that's, a, that's a pretty good deal. Um, this motherboard, I'm, there's two options I have I'm, I'm thinking of considering with this thing. Um, the um, TV box is in need of a replacement motherboard, something that does not have an NVIDIA chipset, so that way I can directly install the Seton Infinity TV6 tuner directly to the machine. Um, this here should work fine for that. The um, processor is not too um, power hungry. It's a 65 watt um, TDP processor, 3 gigahertz processor, so it has plenty of punch um, for what it is. <clears throat> Pretty decent little dual core. Motherboard has plenty of SATA hookups. I'll need three in the TV box one for the SSD, one for the hard drive, and the other for the optical drive since this one has no EIDE ports on it even doesn't, doesn't even have floppy on it it offers plenty enough um, I.O. for that machine um, it gives you um, a PCI Express 16 that's for a video card and you get two PCI Express times one slots and a PCI uh, regular PCI slot they're pretty the motherboard is pretty lacking on built-in I.O. on the uh, on the outside though you have your you just simply have your audio your LAN four USB two ports a VGA and that's it you don't even have PS2's on this thing <laughs> um, I say not a bad little machine for for $15 though um, it has you can't see it DVD butter and look here, because it's a business machine, it actually has a hard disk drive activity LED. And of course, SATA optical drive, 300 watt light on power supply. 19 amps on the um, 12 volt. So you could probably you could probably run a basic video card with that. Um, so anyways, that is a look at two. Parts machines. Total cost, a little over thirty dollars with tax. Not too bad. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Hey everybody, I sure hope you guys enjoyed this video from Q Computer Channel. Remember to like the video, subscribe to Q Computer Channel for more updates, and remember to tick the bell so that you actually get notified of these updates. Did you know that I am also on a second channel that's CubeCop MTDX? Over there you'll find videos of bicycling, weather, elevators, and all sorts of other neat and interesting stuff. Feel free to subscribe to that channel as well. And again, I thank you for your support and thanks for watching this video.